Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, as Zen introduced me, I'm Alex Kirekidis, I'm the founder of U-School, and uh, I'm excited to welcome you all here today at the third episode of UJS Forge, that it's all about artificial intelligence and UJS. UJS Forge is a unique event where you will get to write a lot of code during the course of today and tomorrow. In this keynote, I'm, uh, I'm going to explain the structure so you know what to expect during this event. And also I would like to explain how we ended up with this unique structure. So at U-School, as you likely know, we teach developers UJS through video courses and tutorials. And uh, we also do other cool stuff like the official UJS certification that we work in partnership with Evan Yu, the creator of the framework, which you can pre-order or learn more about on certification.ujs.org. Um, over the last seven years, at U-School, we have created over 900 lessons on all of the things UJS. And our philosophy is that the best way to learn code is to write a lot of code. This is why we have been hosting in-person workshops at conferences and also for companies or online in our virtual, virtual classroom. The View School workshops are an intensive way to learn a full concept in a day instead of a month. And this is how the idea of UJS Ford started. We wanted to host a workshop style event but instead of limiting, limiting it to 40, 50 people, to make it available for thousands of uh, view developers in the community. You can think of UJS Forge as if the view school workshops and the view school events had a baby. That baby would have been called UJS Forge. And uh, view JS Forge um, is a series of live events where we build an application together. And so far, we have been hosting two episodes every year. The goal of UJS Forge is to, of course, have fun, to write a lot of code, to learn, and to make friends from the Vue community. This year, we're hosting the third episode of UJS Forge today and tomorrow, that it is on artificial intelligence, and the fourth episode on August 2nd and 3rd, which will be on a surprise theme. This episode, the Vue.js and the AI, it was um, quite a different um, event and structure we did in comparison to the previous events, but we chose AI for a couple of reasons because we think it's a very hot topic at the moment. And uh, it, for all of us, we can feel that we are falling a bit behind I think we are not. I think we are all very early today. And that's why we wanted to do this UJS Forge now on AI. So you can all be early AI and front-end developers. Um, some of the reasons we think that AI is very important nowadays is that um, we believe that AI is going to change the way we develop websites, um, both the way that we work, but the way we optimize our code, the way we uh, make enhancements, the way we build features or even the way we learn. And um, now already there is a lot of new AI projects that are being developed either from new startups or we see big enterprises that invest in AI and build tools or they, they enhance their tools, they build helpers. Like, and AI is so nice. Like it can make your work so much nicer or even your household management. It can become uh, less tedious for a lot of things. And uh, I personally think that humanity really needs the help of AI to an extent because we do a lot of things manually, things that we shouldn't need, in my opinion, to, to do manually. But anyways, we have chosen the AI to get you ready to build AI tools, either for yourself to improve your workflows, your, your personal stuff, or at your company or at your new job as an AI and UJS developer. And I think it's also impressive to figure how easy it is to use um, uh, AI APIs. In this conference, we will use the one from OpenAI, but there is a lot of providers for API services, either for generating text, for generating content, for generating uh, uh, images, uh, videos, and whatnot. So what we do as front-end developers is to consume 
those APIs. Okay. Um, in the previous episodes of uh, Vue.js Forge, we had over 19,000 people uh, who registered. We had 5,000 people who coded along the applications that we built at the event. We had 120 mentors that were here to support the coders and make uh, sure that they all succeed. And we had thousands of people who joined to watch the conference live, see the live coders, or watch it later on the social, uh, social networks. In these episodes of, uh, of UJS Falls today, we're welcoming developers from 135 countries, with the top five being the US, India, Germany, Brazil, and Nigeria. And we're also welcoming developers from a lot of notable companies and startups. To mention a few, uh, CERN, Upwork, IBM, Microsoft, Verizon, and many more. And uh, as a fun fact, 52% of the Vue.js Forge participants have over five years of experience with front-end development. So thank you, everybody, for joining today. No matter from which country or city or where company you are coming from, um, we want to make sure you have an amazing time and uh, really that you learn a lot of stuff. And um, um, at View School, we have managed to keep all of the View Forge episodes free for the community, the same with all of our other events. And this is thanks to all of you people who buy our services and support our work at View School. We really appreciate it that you allow us to do this stuff that we love doing with education, with uh, View events and crazy stuff uh, like, uh, like View Forge. And uh, we also managed to keep the events free thanks to our amazing sponsors that uh, uh, Jen mentioned. And um, if, you are, uh, um, if you have come to View Falls uh, multiple times, you might already know that UJS Falls relies on the product sponsors. And the product sponsors are the companies who um, we use their software in order to build the applications that, um, that we are building here into the two days. However, in this episode of UJS Forge, we don't have any product sponsors this time. And uh, we have two main speculations about this. The first is that probably companies are not interested already in sponsoring an AI event yet. But uh, anyways, we wanted to take the leap and do the AI event because we think now is the right time to do uh, Vue.js AI applications. And um, our second speculation is that the DevRels preferred to drink and jazz in an in-person event, and they didn't care so much about uh, online events and Vue.js Forge. But um, no matter what is the case, if you're working at a software company and you want to have your software used by thousands of amazing Vue developers around the world, you can reach out to us and we can set you up with your software to be used in the next Vue.js Forge event in August. Okay, so I mentioned that Vue Falls is born from the structure from the Vue School workshops, but it has some major differences in comparison to our workshops. These are that at Vue.js Falls, we focus on building a real world application and also not so much on the individual um, uh, training sessions. And also in Vue Falls, we don't have any theory. It's only uh, uh, exercise coding, live coding. Um, more specifically, Vue.js Falls is split into, session, into sessions. And in every session, we will have uh, Daniel Kelly, our master of code, who will introduce you to the exercise, uh, which is essentially the prompt of uh, what you will have to do. Then we will take your questions and we will answer them on the stage before you go on your computer to solve the solution and code by yourself. And uh, during these 30 minutes, we will keep the, uh, the stream not busy um, so that you can really focus on your coding work. After that, we will come back to the event and we will have the experts from the community to live code the solution of the very same exercise that you worked on. So if you didn't manage to finish it, you can see a solution. Or even if you finish it, you can see how experts think and, and code and uh, how they solve problems 
in a real world situation. After that, we move on to the next exercise and we repeat the same four steps until we are done with the day and with a full app eventually. Um, all of the live coding sessions from our experts um, are going to be, uh, they're going to share the code on GitHub after the session so that you can have access to it after the event and you can have all of the code both as an official solution but also the solution from the live sessions. In this, uh, in this event today, we're going to build this social media post generator that accepts an article URL and then it will create an announcement for Twitter, Facebook, images, and it even has a live chat support that you can ask it how to use the app. I will not show you how it works because I say you have very little time already, um, but it's uh, very exciting and this is what you are going to code by yourself during these two days. <clears throat> we think that um, uh, coding is more fun when you're part of a team, and that's why we have uh, introduced the Vue.js Forge matchmaking, which uh, allows you to meet people from the community, um, learn from others while you are working on the exercises or during the event with the live coding of the experts and whatnot. And um, it also gives you the opportunity to help your teammates and in general chat and have fun during the conference. Our teams at Vue.js Forge communicate on Discord. So if you have not uh, activated your ticket on Discord, you have this in your email. So you can take your code, go on Discord, activate it, and then you will join a team. And um, uh, as a team member, we now recommend for this event that you work independently. So every team member works on your own uh, computer. You solve the exercise by yourself and you get to your team um, either to discuss if you have questions, if you want to brainstorm, um, you can do, um, you know, per coding, you can share your screen in Discord, uh, but try to work on all of the exercises by yourself. We have tailored all of the content to be achievable during this two days time frame, and um, it will be awesome if you manage to have the full AI app because with this app, then any AI tool you want to build, if if you can have the corresponding API you will be able to develop it by yourself using just Vue.js. Awesome. So at Vue.js Forge, uh, since it is a, a genuine event, we have three types of participants. We have the people who participate in teams and they get the full experience, both of coding, learning, and meeting people and uh, having fun um, in, in Discord. We also have the solo coders that have almost the full experience. And the solo coders, they uh, join the event here in Vito and they can uh, they get access to the, uh, the exercises in Notion. They can watch the live code solutions and code on their own machine, but they are just not part of a Discord team for their own reasons. And uh, lastly, we have the, um, the watchers or the audience who sing in Vito. They are not coding along, but they can watch both the instructions and the live coding from the experts after the coding, um, uh, the coding sessions. And um, yeah, I can tell you no matter which type of participant you are, uh, you're going to have a lot of fun during Vue.js Forge. For, for the coders and for the teams, we also provide a certificate of completion that you can get after the event. Um, before we get started, I would like to bring your attention to the Vue.js Forge mentors. Uh, we have 37 people um, that have joined today um, to help out all of, uh, all of you, all of the participants. Uh, if you get stuck with your code, if you have bugs, if it doesn't run on your computer, like anything you need, uh, the mentors are here to help you. And um, if, if at any point you, you get stuck and you cannot solve it with your teammates, reach out to a mentor and we will get you sorted. And uh, I want to say mentors, you are awesome. Uh, thank you for joining us. We appreciate that you take time to support the community in this event. And um, this is how you reach out to, to your mentors. We have this general mentors channel in Discord. You can go there anytime and post your question and the mentor will join uh, in your team to provide support for you and your teammates. 
I also want to thank everybody for providing feedback in the previous two episodes and to remind you to complete the survey after the event uh, when we send it. Uh, we take all of your feedback into account and this really helps us improve our work and projects. And um, the episode three of UJS Forge follows our improved recipe, which includes dedicated co coding time for its exercise, a lot of breaks, dedicated text and audio Discord channels for each team. So you can choose if you want to chat or if you're going to have like a voice call uh, with your team, or you can have both, but every team has two, channel, uh, two channels that they can use, which are private and other team members, they can, other, other teams cannot uh, access. And we have also simplified the communication with mentors. Now it all starts from the general mentors channel. And we have also simplified the exercise starting points. Awesome. So it's about time to get started. Um, once again, I want to thank everybody for joining. Uh, I hope you will have a lot of fun, a lot of fun at UJS Forge and that you learn um, how to build nice AI and UJS applications. And I'm really looking forward to see what you're going to build, not at UJS Forge, but after UJS Forge with the knowledge that you get from these days. Okay, so with no further ado, it's time to meet your team. After Jen uh, gives you more information. Thank you.